All right, you know, November 2nd, it's coming up very quickly. It's going to be time for the general election in New Jersey. So there's a few changes that you need to know about. So stay tuned because we've got the Monmouth County clerk and she's going to make us aware of what we need to know. Stay tuned. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a special edition of Scan FYI. And our very special guest today is uh, the Monmouth County Clerk, Christine Hanlon. And uh, she's here today because we are getting ready to vote November 2nd. There's some changes coming down the pike that all voters need to know about. Oh, and if you're not a registered voter, Christine is going to tell you how to do that. Okay, welcome. Good, good, uh, good day, everyone. So glad to be with you today. Thank you, Christine. It's great to have you here. And yes, yeah, so we're getting ready to vote November 2nd. New Jersey just uh, changed the law. So why don't you share with us what, what what's going on? <laughs> yes. So uh, there's a lot going on, a lot of new, exciting things. Um, and I like to start by saying to people that uh, this is not going to be a mail-in ballot election like last year. I'm still getting those questions and I totally understand that people may have some confusion because of what happened last year right. and that everyone got a mail-in ballot uh, and that was the way that you were supposed to vote last year. That was, as far as I know today, a one-time situation. Uh, so if you haven't already gotten your mail-in ballot, uh, you, you would have had to be on the list from prior years, or you would have to make a specific request okay. um, for your mail-in ballot. But most people um, will be voting in person this year, just like normal years. And there's mm -hmm. some new and exciting information about voting in person. And that is what's called early in-person voting. Uh, a law was passed earlier this year to mandate early voting throughout New Jersey for a nine day period prior to election day. And this is something that is required to happen uh, for the primary and the general election every year uh, going forward, but it begins this year with the general election. So this is everywhere in New Jersey and it requires that polls are open for a nine day period. This year, that period is October 23rd through October 31st. And voting is permitted at specially designated polling locations. It's not every polling location that we're normally used to on election day. Okay. It is specially designated locations. And depending upon what county you live in, there's a certain number of locations, it's not the same in every county. But for instance, in Monmouth County, we have 10 uh, special polling locations that are open for this nine day period from October 23rd to October 31st for in-person early voting. And uh, one of the things I wanted to tell everyone is that we have a lot of information on my website, monmouthcountyvotes.com about this early voting uh, situation. And I have some brochures that we made up that I will be sending to SCAN. Um, but a lot of the information is on, on the website, monmouthcountyvotes.com. And you know what I'm gonna do uh, as you're watching this, monmouthcountyvotes.com, that's gonna go right across the screen. So nobody has to write it down or memorize anything. And I'll also make sure on Facebook and YouTube that I link to all of the sites that the Monmouth County Clerk is talking about. And again, reminding everyone in every county in New Jersey, this is, this is something that's happening. So in every county, you can access your, your particular county's website to get all of this info. Yes. yes. So absolutely. The specific polling locations for early voting will be contained on the sample ballot that everyone receives within the next week or so, uh, maybe two weeks prior to the early voting period. Everyone uh, gets a sample ballot, no matter what county you live in, and it states your polling location for election day 
but it also is required to have all of these early voting locations. So voters can find out the locations right. in their particular county that way as well, or they can contact their county election offices or their, their county websites. Um, I just want to remind everyone that in order to early vote or vote by mail or vote on election day, you must be registered to vote. And the voter registration deadline is October 12th this year. It's always 21 days before election day. So the deadline is coming up. It's uh, next week. And it's important for everyone to register. If you're not registered to vote, well, by the way, shame on you. You better be registered to vote. So how do, they, how do people do that if they're not sure how they can register to vote? So if you're in Monmouth County, you can go on my website, monmouthcountyvotes.com, and there's a link that says, am I registered? And you can look yourself up to see if you're registered to vote. Um, I'm not sure what the other counties have with respect to that, but you can go to the state website. Um, the New Jersey Division of Elections website and find that Am I Registered link. Uh, you can also call your local uh, Board of Elections or Superintendent of Elections office in whatever county you're in and just ask if you're registered to vote. And normally you would know this by receiving materials in the mail. You may yeah. have gotten, like in Monmouth County, I sent everyone um, a letter like a postcard explaining the early voting process. Many voters reached out to me saying they got it and thank you for explaining uh, this situation. So you, you probably would have gotten something uh, in the mail if you're registered to vote, regardless of what county you're in. Many of the clerks throughout the state sent letters to constituents, their voters, right. explaining certain things. You know um, what I want to remind everyone? If you recently moved, uh, to a different county, you're going to want to re-register to vote in that particular county. So that's an important thing, too, because that yeah. happened to me and I registered in my new county. So that's very important. Yes, it's very important. And uh, oftentimes voters are able to do this if they're updating their driver's license there. That would automatically change the voter registration. But if you haven't done that yet, or if you're not planning to do that because you're not driving or whatever the case may be, make sure that you reach out. Um, and there is a form that's the voter registration form um, is there's a, a, a box for address change. It's not like a brand new registration, but you do use the same voter registration form and check the box address change and give your information and submit that form. And that form can be found on most county websites. Uh, and you can also find it on the state division of elections website based on right. whatever county um, you move to. Um, but I wanted to get back to early voting because there's a lot of um, new technology that is yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah. And uh, this is a big, big change. So I just want to reiterate for this year, now with this new law, there are three ways to vote. The first is vote by mail if you are on the list or if you choose to do that. The second is obviously the normal election day voting at your local polling location. Right. And the third is the new one, which is early voting at special locations throughout the county. Um, I want to just make sure everyone knows that no matter where that location is in the county, whatever county you live in, you can go and vote there. So, for instance, if you live in Eatontown, but the early voting location is in Neptune or uh, Colts Neck it doesn't matter. You can go to any one of the locations and your ballot will appear for you okay. in that early voting location. And that is the reason why there's all new technology involved. Because what we're used to is we go into our local polling location and there's our local ballot for our town on election day and you vote your town ballot. Because of early voting 
and there's only a limited number of these early voting locations, every ballot in the entire county has to appear for a voter. All right. And that makes perfect sense because you might be voting in Neptune, but you live in Cold Snap, let's say. So exactly. All right. Very so interesting. You can yeah. go anywhere. So, for instance, in Monmouth County, we have these 10 locations for early voting from Saturday, the 23rd to Sunday, the 31st through Sunday, the 31st. And no matter where you live in the county, you can go to any one of the 10 and vote. And when you go in, the first thing that you're going to see is a brand new type of poll book. Voters are used to seeing a paper poll book and they sign their name in the paper book. That will not happen this year at any polling location. Voters will see an electronic poll book that looks like an iPad or a tablet screen. And they will have to sign that with a stylus pen. Okay. It's all <laughs> digital. And the reason for that is some people say, well, wh why, why did that happen? The reason for that is because of early voting and voters can go into any of the locations to vote during the early voting period, um, that poll book needs to find any voter in the entire county. Right. not just the voter that live in a neighborhood polling location. So it has to be electronic because when the voter goes in, the poll worker has to find the voter from the, for instance, in Monmouth County, we have 460,000 voters. The poll worker has to find that one voter through the electronic poll book out of all of these hundreds of thousands of voters. And that's why it has to be electronic digital rather than paper, because we'd never be able to have all that paper. Right. And, one and of course, paper. that that makes perfect sense. And I'm sure when you get to your polling location, if you have a question, certainly somebody will be available to help you. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so once you check in and sign the digital poll book, you will receive in Monmouth County, you will receive a card that you will bring, it's like a long card. It's almost like as long as this brochure, maybe a little bit longer. And you will insert that card into a new type of voting machine that we've never seen before here in Monmouth County. Um, and that voting machine will have the ability to produce any town ballot based on where the voter lives. Okay. So let's say I live in Ocean Township, which I do. I go to Neptune to early vote at the <clears> early <throat> voting location. I sign the electronic poll book. I'm given a card that has a little um, mark on it that corresponds with my Ocean Township type of ballot. I insert that card into the machine, the voting machine, and lo and behold, my Ocean Township ballot will appear on the screen. And this is something brand new. You know, we've never, our voters have never experienced something like this before, but it is required to change to something like this because of early voting. In some counties, the process is a little different. There will be an electronic poll book, but the voter might um, get a, a paper ballot um, that they hand mark. Right. Or they might get, a different type of card and then a ballot prints out somewhere and they hand mark it and then they scan it. The procedure, because there's different types of machines that the counties were able to choose from. Okay. So there's a different process in different counties, but generally speaking, there's electronic poll books, no matter where you are, that's a state law. And then you will be given a certain type of um, card or paper to vote your specific town ballot. That's a little bit different based on the county you live in. Okay. It so, doesn't, you know, you, I feel like you've really demystified it and now it doesn't, it doesn't sound so daunting, but it's good to, you know, when you go in there, if you, if you weren't, if you were expecting something else, you will be surprised. 
Yes. So that's why we're doing a whole yeah. over education um, process. Uh, you know, the first thing I did was to send out this card to all voters in Monmouth County about the early voting process. They will also get information on their sample ballot. In addition to that, we launched a big video uh, education um, um, campaign so that voters uh, in Monmouth County will understand completely these changes, why the changes are being made. And also my videos contain the apparatus that voters will see when they go into Good. the polling location. So for Monmouth County, if you're looking at my videos, you will see this new machine that you are going to be voting on. And you will see the whole process with the card and the touch screen and everything that you will have to do. Um, and, and I have these videos coming out. We're working on an animated video to really show the process. So voters can go to my website, monmouthcountyvotes.com to find the videos, uh, follow us on Facebook, Monmouth County Clerk, and then I'll be sending you also some of these videos to, to send out if you like. And, uh, you know, a lot of the different counties are doing an education campaign. Um, the depth and breadth of it will vary from county to county. Um, but a lot of the counties are working to try to educate voters. So regardless of what county you live in, you should look, you know, try to find right. that information on your local county elections website, your particular county. So I know there's, and also the state is putting out a lot of information. But in Monmouth, I wanted voters to actually see the new machinery before they went in the polling location because I didn't want people to be surprised. So our videos contain what these new machines look like. And just reminding everyone uh, in, in our uh, Facebook, our, our comments and on YouTube, uh, as Clark Hanlon sends me all the links, I will put them all out there so that everyone can refer to them. And of course, monmouthcountyvotes.com across your screen right now, you can always go on that website, get all the info. So there's some big changes going on, which I think is a good thing. But I have a question. I'm thinking other people might have the same question. So I vote early. Let's say I vote on day six of the, the nine day window. What happens if I go to my normal polling location? Because I think I'm going to put one over on everyone. I'm going to vote again. <laughs> Yes. Well, number one, you could go to jail. Okay. So number that. <laughs> yes. Let's um, not forget about that. It's that, a doing great that. question. Yeah. A great question. But that is the reason for the electronic poll book. So when you go on day six, for example, like you said, the poll workers will mark in the electronic poll book that you have already voted. And that's why everything has to be electronic because those poll books will be deployed on election day also. It okay. won't be paper on election day. Makes sense. So Makes the poll sense. workers, when they look up that voter, it will show in the poll book that that person voted. So number one, you could be prosecuted and, you know, for committing a felony or a <laughs> high level offense in, in New Jersey. Um, and number two, you will not be allowed to go to a voting machine because the electronic poll book will be marked that you already have voted. Now, there has been the scenario from time to time where a voter might vote by mail and because it was 45 days before election day, because ballots go out really early if you're yes. voting by mail. Sometimes people forget, especially times when maybe there's a local election going on early. You know, sometimes there might be some special election. We've had that. And voters are thinking, wait, I voted for the special election. I didn't vote for election day. And they'll go to a polling location. But they will receive a provisional ballot 
or that, you know, usually voters aren't turned away because if a voter is adamant about the fact that they had not voted and it must be a mistake, right. the workers will offer a provisional paper ballot that will be verified later, okay. After, really okay. after everything else is counted. Um, and that's why we have provisional ballots where if there's some discrepancy and you go to a polling location, maybe you're not in the poll book for some reason, maybe there was some kind of <clears throat> issue or error, um, you have the opportunity to vote on a provisional ballot no matter what. And then it's later verified by the election officials to determine whether you voted already. Okay. And if you voted already, it will be not be not be counted. Good to know. All right. I'm sure that was a question as well. Yes. Yeah. And one the other thing I like to tell people is that the early voting results will not be counted until election day. So some people are saying, oh, uh, if everybody goes to vote early, we can get some early election results to see if our candidate is ahead or, uh, you know, who's winning and all that. That is not happening to do. And what happens is that information has to be secured until the close of the polls on November 2nd or whatever the election day is. And then and only then will that will those results be tallied because you can't have that kind of situation where election results are published in, ad, in advance. In advance. Oh. That, okay. That's horrible. And and that is something that is um, everything is required to be secured. Um, I'm not even allowed to obtain that information because I post the results and I do the county clerk does the, you know, the the tabulation at the close of the polls. I am not allowed to have access to any of that information until 8 p.m on election night, and then I will be given this electronic data to include in, in the totals. Um, so that is something as a you know, security feature mm -hmm. with respect to early voting, because you can't have that. You can't have early election results. That wouldn't be good for- No, that would not be good. All right, so a lot, a lot, of, new, a lot of changes, good changes, and um, I think that uh, I, I personally love the uh, early voting in person, but I think remember also it may or may not be the place where you normally do go on election day. So we have to be careful that we're going to, we find out all of the early yeah, voting. It definitely locations. won't be. The, it there, definitely won't just, be. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I, well, there's only 10. Oh, all right. Regions. Okay. Um, and so in some counties, it's even fewer than that. It's based on your population in the county. Uh, so I would say for the most part, it won't, it, it won't be the same location because, okay. you know, your election day location might be a little bit smaller or it might be at a school or something like that. And that cannot accommodate early voting. So our board of elections had to go out and find, you know, special locations for early okay. voting that would stay open Saturday, Sunday, Monday through Friday. Got it. Uh, so these were like really, you know, it was hard to determine the locations um, because there were a lot of requirements. So it's probably, there's very few people that it will be the same location. Um, and the other thing I just wanted to mention before we wrap up is the polling hours for early voting. Um, Monday through Saturday, you can early vote from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. On Sundays, there's two Sundays for early voting. It's 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's not your typical 6 a.m. You know, polls open. Mm -hmm. It's 10 a.m. And that is because there's a tremendous amount of logistical um, things that need to happen between each day of early voting. So that's why it kind of starts at 10 a.m. because there's a lot of things that have to coincide and um, updating of information that has to be done. So it's 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday. 
and 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Sundays. Sunday. All right. So you know what? Um, we have we have a lot of homework to do. We have to uh, familiarize ourselves with this new material. Again, uh, monmouthcountyvotes.com or whatever county you're in, you can go to uh, your county website, the state website. All of this information will be available to you. I think this is a, a great opportunity for people like me who work and find it difficult to get to the polls you know, on time or the crunch of your work day. So this is, this is a good thing for New Jersey. But we have to learn that new technology just just so we uh, know what we're doing. Yes. And if you're not registered to vote, please register to vote. If you move, make sure you register in your new county. And poll workers are still needed. So okay. If All right. You have anyone who is interested in working the polls, reach out you to your county board of elections. They're they're in desperate need of poll workers because there's more hours. Yeah, um, for sure. Some people don't want to deal with the new equipment because it's a whole new learning process, but we really do need poll workers across the board in the state. So if anyone is interested. Uh, All right. Out. Well, New Jersey, we can do this. We can certainly yeah. do this and, and make it happen. Excellent. Okay. Well, we've been uh, listening to a special edition of Scan FYI. I've been talking to uh, Monmouth County Clerk, Christine Hanlon, and much appreciated for all of your uh, good advice today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay. Remember out there, if it's important to you, it's important to us. I'm Andrea Tarr. We'll see you next time on Scan FYI. Bye, everyone.